pumped up, ready to go. All right, you're being filmed. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Hey, everybody, how you doing? It's Kevin here with Deanna from uh, a company. They're all over. Hi, Deanna. No, we never start over. <laughs> no, no, this is how it goes, we can okay? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. It's our Gurkha event today. Gurkha and uh, Little Beast. Here we are. I'll show you the rest of it. Come on out here. Say hi, Ferentz. Hey there, how are Hello. you? Oh, Ferentz is uh, putting more uh, ice on the old bevies there. I think oh. I might crank into one of those or maybe two of those later today. Oh, yeah. oh baby. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Ferentz. So, just a just a quick heads up on what happened earlier today. When we had people in the store, we had people in, in the humidor. Guy comes in, he says, I want to buy a great gift for a 60, 60th uh, birthday party. He says, I want to buy a Cuban. And I'm like, are you sure you want to buy a Cuban? So it's, they're the best. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, they're not actually the best. There is no best. What your the cigar you're smoking is probably the best cigar you have another day. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is going to change and the next day is going to change. Mm -hmm. But you, if you look at the Humano and Victory cigars, we're literally 20% Cuban and the rest of the humidor is Dominican, Nicaraguan, Honduran, you name it. I mean, everything but Cuban. Right. Uh, the reason for that is, is value. I'm not slagging Cuban cigars by any means. I love a good Cuban cigar. I look at a Short Churchill or a D4 or a Epicure number two, all in the $50 range. Now, if it were me, I would smoke something along the lines of, I would look at it this way. I can get this. I can get two of these cigars for the same price as I can get one robusto and a, and yeah. a Cuban cigar. This was yeah. the number one cigar in 2012. Cigar aficionado for the Los Antillas Toro. Mm -hmm. Now, bang for your buck. I mean, that screams bang for your buck. Now, again, I'm not. I'm not slagging Cuban cigars. Okay, right. it may seem like it, but I'm not. Trust me. I love them as much as everybody else. It's just value. Okay, mm -hmm. it's value. It's price. Yeah. It's quality, the quality and all these cigars are, are, are there. I mean, draw test. I've been to the Rocket Patel factory how many times? Six, Six seven, seven, you know, yeah. every time I go there, I see that draw tester. They draw test every goddamn cigar. Yeah. Just like they do at my father, just like they do at uh, PPC, you know, everywhere. So stop getting this idea in your head that Cuban cigar is the best Cuban, is the best cigar out there. It's not, it's a great cigar, mm -hmm. but so is everything else. Whether it be a ten dollar cigar, twenty dollar cigar, fifty dollar cigar, two hundred dollar cigar, okay. Uh, next time you're thinking about that, talk to your tobacconist. Doesn't matter if it's me or a, a, another one of the bricks and mortar in Ontario, but uh, they'll be able to fill you in the truth, mm -hmm. okay? Awesome, thank you. Bazinga. Hey, Cheers. Bye.